Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. This is problem 27. First, we'll find the support reaction at point F, where there is a roller and therefore one reaction force perpendicular to the surface. We don't need to find the reactions at point A, since they will not be useful to us after cutting the truss. To find the force at point F, we'll take the moment about point A. With the provided applied forces, we get this equation. The 50 kN force is not included since it passes through the point of interest. Isolating this equation for the vertical reaction at joint F gives that it is equal to 57.5 kN. Next, we'll identify the members of interest as highlighted in the question, DC, HC, and HI. We will cut the truss along these three members as shown and focus only on the remaining left side. Next, we'll find the angle formed by the truss. We'll do this by taking the inverse tangent of the side lengths of the truss. The result is an angle of 36.87 degrees. Now we have everything we need to solve the question. Next, we'll take the moment about point C. The resulting equation is as follows, which when isolated for FHI results in 42.5 kN in tension. Then we'll take the sum of vertical forces. This is the resulting equation, which when isolated for FDC, results in 125 kilonewtons in compression. Finally, we'll take the sum of horizontal forces. This is the resulting equation, which when isolated for FHC, results in 100 kilonewtons in tension. And there you have it, quick statics answers.